Now that we've uh, done that exercise 7, we can go back to the home view, turn us back on everything, and now we can start to use some of the VisionRes BOM if we've passed that to our DWF. So to access the BOM, we'll go to the list view, and we'll select this BOM, it's the second uh, line item here, and it'll open up this grid data down here on the bottom, on the right. And this is our BOM data. And it's well and good that it is uh, on the right side here, but we can put this little thumbtack, the uh, pin, in here and it'll always stay on. But it's still pretty hard to read. And so it's usually best if it's anchored to the bottom of the screen. So we can grab the menu bar here of that window and it'll drag out to the middle. Then we can move it down to the bottom of the BOM and once it highlights on the bottom we can anchor it to the bottom. So this gives us a little bit better view of our BOM data. And so the BOM data is linked with our model. As an example if you select the very top line item it's a keystone we have two of them and if I scroll over they're 10 inches tall but also when I select this line item in my model they highlight in yellow if I select the arrow tool or A for quick key there I can select the window and within my list here the window the double hung I have six of these and that's three foot by five foot and I can see that highlighted in my list. What we can also do is find other objects. So if I'm in my home tab in my uh, ribbon I can select inside the find and I could find brick. And the system will go in and find all the brick items here in my uh, list. So if I had called out my brick banding, it was it would be in there. If I had any uh, markups, it would show that, like uh, lower the brick banding 8 inches if I typed in brick. Or brick net area would highlight. And so you can use the find feature to find other pieces of the model.